Hey everybody, it's Tamika and I am here with my last video, the last tutorial for 2019 for this channel. I wanted to thank all of you guys all for visiting this whole year and before. All the new subscribers, thank you guys so much for your likes, for your comments, and um, for all of you all support. So um, this is the time where I go through all of my photos in my phone, all of the things that I've printed, projects that... Um, I print it for photos or photos that I have printed for projects and see what's left over and I combine them all into something whether it's a mini album or something so I want to make sure sure I do my like year in review so this year I'm going to do something super simple and make um, or I made a photo flip book stand or photo flip stand or whatever you want to call it it's a super easy way, super quick way to gather all the photos from the year or from an event that you took an enormous amount of photos for and combine them into one place where everybody can view them and enjoy them. So this particular um, album has 21 pages on uh, each side and there's a photo on both sides. So I have upwards of 84 photos. Um, in this book I printed a hundred and I was going through so fast getting my orientation together I missed a couple of you cut off a couple cheeks so those didn't get in but I know that I can fit a hundred in here for sure and even more so I'm gonna show you guys how to make this super easy um, album so it is a stand like I said it's a very sturdy stand and it's made out of 110 pound weight cardstock chipboard and some wesh, uh, wesh, some mesh. I'm going to show you guys that in a second. I have it layered on the inside as well. Um, and I used uh, Auburn Lane paper. So you can have all of your photos. These are the binding rings from the Dollar Tree. Let me turn it this way. You can have all your photos on one side if you like. I don't like to do that because it makes it uneven. So if I had all these over here, so it will look like that and I don't want it to topple over you know what I mean so I split my photos up in half and then half I do in the orientation going this way and then half I do when you flip it over the photo is upside down see so all I do is take my cover and my cover is five by seven as well as the, my stand so it can fit full four by six photos on here without any cropping like I said super easy print the photos put them on the paper really really easy so the front I've decorated, I got these cute little Auburn Lane flowers from a swap from Carolina's Crafts, and I just added just a little bit of embellishments to the front. I may go back and do some white splatters, but simple is how I wanted to keep it, and I have uh, whole reinforcements at the top because this is heavyweight chipboard and it's layered. It's not gonna, it's not gonna go tear. So. And then on the back of this, this is my divider piece, so I know that this goes in the middle. On the back, I just have just a reflective little blurb about the year um, and what I thought about it. And I say, as I turn, as days turn into weeks, weeks turn into months, and months turn into years, I think how time flies. I reflect on the good and the bad. I find the lessons taught, the scars that healed, and the joy that ensued. I know family is family, and family is forever. And that is something to cherish to always treasure so in the 2019 that's just a little um you know just what i feel about that year so all i did after that's gone so people would you know flip that over and you would just place your photos for the year or for the event or whatever so this is 110 pound weight cardstock i just used hole punch to punch holes in there obviously this is a four uh four and a quarter by six or four by six photo so i made that a little bit wider a little bit longer so that I can put it on the rings and it won't interfere with the photo so I did one photo this way and then on the opposite side you can see I flipped it to that side and I just continued to do that for all the family photos period just all the things that we did um, this year so they can flip through that and enjoy it and have a good time with that so you you might not need as big as rings as these you can use smaller rings but I just uh, had these on hand I've had I've had them on for a while so I decided to use those and um, yeah so you just put all your family photos on here basically and that's it so I'm going to show you how to create this this is super easy and and fast and it makes a great statement piece on your living room decor and I just wanted to tell you I did cover the back with the Auburn Lane paper on both sides um, I didn't want to keep everything all 
one color one note so I did want to have a little bit of of color to my project and this one has the pink grid on the back so anyway I'm going to show you guys how to make that right now so these are the items that you're going to use I'm using heavyweight chipboard I'll put the link down below to the chipboard that I use you'll need a hole punch I'm using this um, we are memory keepers you can use a regular hole punch if you'd like you'll need a pair of scissors and you need your uh, book rings whatever size you're going to use I'm using two inch book rings because um, I wanted to fill my book up a lot so I think you can go smaller though if you have them and I'm using wall repair fabric now you don't have to use this another alternative is Tyvek if you have old postal envelopes or if you have Tyvek I don't have any more Tyvek so I was looking I'm like you know what this will work I just want something sturdy you can also just use regular cardstock and paper too as well I just knew that I was gonna have a lot of photos on that stand and I didn't want the binding um, to tear so I'm using um, this you can also use duct tape duct tape will work so this is just what I have this is what I wanted to use I didn't want to go on buying anything extra so let's put it together you're gonna also need your cardstock and your pattern paper of course so you want to cut down your chipboard you need two pieces at five by seven and you need one piece at four and a quarter by five so this is how I'm doing mine you can make yours larger or if you're making smaller photos up to you but you're just going to need two pieces that are the same and then a smaller piece in between and that's going to fit just like that all right so the first thing that I'm going to do is attach my wall repair fabric I get this at any you know hardware store and that's going to lay like so so again you can use duct tape you can use Tyvek you can use nothing but cardstock totally up to you this has a bit of tacky on one side but you're still going to need to you know adhere it so I'm just going to use about that much and I'm going to cut off the extra I'm going to use some double-sided tape if you're just using cardstock um, skip this part we're just going to go we're going to do this and then we'll layer the cardstock on top so if you're not doing that part then just if you're not doing this part then just wait a little bit for that one we're gonna leave a little bit of the gap a gap so that it can bend over the cardstock and and do what we need it to do so sticky side down for this I think I'm gonna use this one first and then we'll just lay that right on top on top of the double-sided tape that I have down here I'll flip it over and attach this piece all right so that's on there Okay, I'm going to clean off the excess all right so now you have your stability there now we're just going to attach our cardstock base all right uh, since this eight and a half by eleven is not long enough to go the length of this the cover here I'm going to attach two pieces together like I would if I were doing a mini album And we're going to lay that right on top and cover it with double-sided tape all right we're going to peel off this double-sided tape and go ahead and attach it flip it over and attach it to the cardstock get that all adhered and then I'm just going to fold over the edges you can get a bone folder and kind of curl up the edges you just want to make sure that they meet the tip of the chipboard I'm going to cut down the extra all right and then we're going to miter the corners and that means cutting at the angle where the score or the fold over lines in this case intersect but you want to just go ahead and take your time and score that neatly And then you want to add tape to the sides all right now you want to go ahead and fold over these edges all right and you want to lightly crease the center I can't find a bone folder to save my life so I'm just gonna go over these little creases 
you want to do this lightly with your bone folder so that can fold up and you can know make sure that you don't have any you know uh, paper that is crumpling up in between that you need to fix all right so then we're going to add the top layer of the cardstock to finish this out all right, so I cut two pieces out uh, down to four and seven eighths by 11. Of course, that's not gonna fit the whole thing. And then another one at four and seven eighths by eight. So it'll go past this little score mark and you won't have that fold over. So go ahead and attach these. And I always start at the end here, making sure I get that covered. You wanna go back and try to find your crease and follow that along again so it can fold over nicely. I'm using solid cardstock for this. Obviously, for the other one, I used um, solid and pattern paper. Okay, give it a good press and then fold it over so it'll meet just like so. All right, so we want to go ahead and measure where we want these holes to be. So you want to cut a piece of cardstock down to four and a quarter by six and a half. This is where your four by six photo will go. You want to cut your holes in your in your top. Now you want to make sure you stay at the top. Let me find a photo. So you want to make sure you stay at the top. So this is what I did. I put my four by uh, six photo at the very bottom, leaving a tiny little gap, and then I cut the top half of not cut, but I used um, the hole punch and then put the holes in there. So this little space at the top is very small. It's just a half an inch, right? So you can make a template and then just punch all your papers all out at once. So your photo on one side will go right down at the bottom. Oops. The photo at one side, when you put it on here, will go right down to the bottom. And then you're going to flip it forward and then put the other one close to the top. That way it doesn't interfere with this half inch down here. So you want to cut out as many photos as you have for this. Obviously, I think I had, what, 20, um, one on each side. So I have 42 photo flaps. So that's what I cut out for this. So <clears throat> before you do anything else, you want to mark, I know it's all the same color, but you want to mark on top of your board where your holes are. So you want to even center this as best you can. And then go ahead and punch your holes. I'm just going to put a little hole right here or a little mark of where I need my hole to be on here with the pen and then I could just use this to do my hole punch and I do the same thing on the other side I just kind of try to guide it with that and mark it All right, now we have our two holes there. Now, if you're gonna add your pattern paper or whatever paper you're gonna use on top, go ahead and add that there, whatever you're gonna do on the inside and the back, and then re-punch your holes so you know where you are. And then you wanna add your hole reinforcers. All right, this is a sample, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do it later, but I'm gonna add pattern paper and all that stuff later. So, But you wanna add your hole reinforcers after you get done layering all your paper. So now you wanna grab one of those little scrap sheets of paper that you have left over and you want to cut it down it's going to be a, a small little piece I'm going to cut it down to one inch and then I'm going to score it in half after you get done laying all your paper following all your hole marks go ahead and cut down your strip of paper and I'm going to add my hot glue here if you're adding eyelets all that stuff do that and at the very end add this paper to connect Okay. we're not going to close it just yet cut off this extra so you have that when it's ready to go so it'll be nice and neat all right you want to grab your binding rings okay at this point everything is all covered we got a rogue binding ring there doesn't want to participate in the festivities all right I'm going to repunch my hole. So the ring will have to go in before you close everything up. So that's under here. You put the ring in, underside, 
you're gonna have to pull it a little bit to fit fit it in there and you do the same thing for this one put the ring in pull it a little bit to get it in there and you can close it now at this point is where you want to go ahead and seal that up so now you're done that's on there it's not going anywhere you just open up your rings add your sheets of cardstock to it and you're good to go so if you want to put a little divider by like mine or if you want to do all on one side or not put a divider totally up to you i just cut another piece of cardstock down to five by seven and wrapped it up and punched the holes and put it in there to just use it as a divider um, I didn't do cardstock. I, I did chipboard, another piece of chipboard. So this is that piece here that I did to kind of separate the two halves. So that's chipboard I just wrapped. So I could have a front, so I could have a front cover. Um, so yeah, that's it. And then you have your, your little stand. You want to go ahead and decorate it and do what you need to do and you're all good to go. All right, guys, I hope that tutorial was helpful. I hope you will try it. If you do, tag me on Insta Instagram, hashtag Scrap the World. And I will see you guys next year. Thank uh, you guys all so much. Like the video if you like it, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.